What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my GSPN's Monday Night Recap. I'm Chris Gonzalez. And I'm Anthony Coleman. And here's some of this week's statistics. The South League had a tough night, losing 27 to 54 to Dunderland. Boone is coming off a 13 to 8 win over Lake Nona. They'll be taking on Jones next week. Boone is currently on a three-game win streak as they head into their bye week. Dr. Phillips suffered a second straight loss against Mainland. Denzel Houston of the Buccaneers had a monster game throwing for 174 yards and three touchdowns. He also did it with his legs, rushing for 183 yards and another score. Lake Highland Prep is coming off of their bye week. They will be taking on Atlantic this Friday. Olympia's defense was rolling in their, 60, in their 31 and 16 win against Evans, forcing five turnovers. Derek Bell also rushed for 78 yards and a touchdown. All Saints Academy took a tough loss to Mount Dora Christian this past week, 26 to 22. West Orange lost at home to Jones, 24 to 48. Quadri Jones of Jones had a great passing day, going 11 to 15 for 276 shots and five touchdowns. Apopka Blue Pass University, 54 to three. Their next matchup is against West Orange. The Blue Daughters are still undefeated and plan to stay that way. South Sumter won a close game against Trinity Catholic, 27 to 20. Lake Mineola is still in search of their first win. They lost to Lake Howell, 29 to 19. They have a rivalry matchup as they take on East Ridge at home this week. Bishop Moore traveled to Point Siena and demolished them, 54-0. We'll be right back with highlights of the East Ridge O'Coe game. Welcome back guys, East Regional Koei matched up this weekend. Our crew was live there at the game. The Knights of East Ridge were hosting Knights of Okoye for the homecoming game. Okoye was looking to spoil the celebration done since the East Ridge fans home sat and disappointed. The first quarter would kick off with Bashar McCray tossing up with Tyree Batiste and he would go up and get it over defenders for a beautiful 41 yard touchdown pass. East Ridge would end the quarter with a slim 6-0 lead. Okoye wouldn't stay quiet though and in fact they would dominate the second quarter. 14 points and leave the East Ridge scoreless to take a slight 14 to 6 lead at the end. Coming in after halftime, Okoe scored their final touchdown in the third quarter. East Ridge tried to fight back with a late touchdown in the fourth, but just couldn't get the job done. Okoe wins this one 21 to 12. With the win, Okoe moves their record to 2 and 2. They will be playing Haggerty this week. East Ridge also moves to 2 and 2. They hope to recover from their tough homecoming loss as they take on rival Lake Mineola this Thursday. Thank you for joining us this week. We'll see you guys on Wednesday.